Power Tools also has a very uh, powerful set of tools for manipulating layers. We have background, background for mask, mask, all on, all off, and all off but. All off but means I can go to a, uh, a layer. In this case, our current layer is one wall, but if I go to my, uh, say, my roof layer, click, it has turned everything off except this roof layer, and you can see the roof is the new layer at the top of the screen. Uh, going to all on, and I might want to make a layer current, so I might want to draw on this uh, a dotted line. I can use the set command. Set, pick on the dotted line here, and straight away it's gone to wall and change the values at the top. In the same instance, I might change this to set that and then turn all off. So now I've gone to this layer, everything else is turned off, but if I draw something new, it will have the dotted lines, the same as if I go onto this wall. I would now have the straight lines and they're filled, the same as this wall was. Uh, the other commands which we have is turning them all on again. We could put layers into the background. So you know, on the first floor here, I've changed things to background. Uh, I'll just bring them all on again. And we can mask layers. And so on. So if we had the all off but, I'll just choose my wall layer here. If I wanted to bring something back on now that was in the background, was in the first floor walls, all off background, choose one wall background and it's brought it back on into the background. If I wanted to make that current, it's just a case of going to the top, drop down the list, turning it on, the same as to bring back any layer. I could either go and choose roof and the roofs come on. Also we could use the draw command. I'm just going to go P for plumbing, set. And now my plumbing has come back on here. The same with tiling. T for tiling, just roll the wheel down, text. Tiling, set, and all my tiling has come on on the ground floor.